Welcome to EGR 105, The Fundamentals of Engineering. Uh, this lecture I want to kind of just cover uh, how the Canvas course is set up so you have a good understanding of how it is set up. I must be um, honest with you, this is the first time this course will be set in an online setting, so there may be errors or mistakes. Please let me know if you find any of those immediately and I will fix those right away. Um, there's a lot that goes into these courses and it's easy to make a, a small mistake. So let me know so it will alleviate any stress that any of you may have about anything. Um, also, if there's things that you think need more, uh, you need more information on, also please let me know things like that too. All right, this is a typical uh, course that you will, should see. On the left, you'll see your navigation area here. Uh, the home screen is the home for the whole course. Um, there's announcements. If there's announcements to be made, you can click on the assignments and see a list of all the assignments, discussions, grades, and all of that. We'll go over that in a little bit. Um, but down below, you will see there are different modules. So these gray headings are called modules, and the first one is called Start Here. Uh, you should have already read through the welcome part. You may have looked at the uh, syllabus and the schedule a little bit. Uh, and then there's also just some helpful information. So getting started with Canvas if you aren't familiar with how to use it. Uh, scanning, you'll have to scan in your work. Uh, there's a document in here which will help you scan your work. If you're still having issues with it, please let me know and I can help you uh, make sure you get your work scanned in. Uh, you can use a lot of your uh, smartphones or iPads and things like that to scan in your work. You don't have to use um, a scanner or anything either. Um, and this kind of goes through how to submit your work in Canvas in the assignment uh, section and also how to read the feedback. I give a lot of feedback and I want you to be able to uh, read that information. Uh, this uh, page talks about WebEx messaging me. It's like a texting app. It's through WebEx, uh, Cisco WebEx. Um, and I would highly recommend you look at that if you don't know how to do that. And we'll talk about that also in a little bit as a quick way to get a hold of me. Uh, or we'll talk about it in the uh, syllabus. And then the, uh, you should also be aware that there is free Microsoft Office software that you will need for the course. Uh, the way the course is structured is each week is labeled here, and here's the week, and it will cor correspond with uh, the syllabus itself. It's broken out into Monday, Wednesday, Friday. These are suggestions for the week of uh, where you should probably do the work. If you want to do it all on Monday or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that is up to you. But this is the work that needs to be done for the week. Uh, here again is week two, three, and so on it will go. And you'll see it follows a similar pattern. There's always a week overview. Uh, then there's the topic. So Monday is always the engineering fundamentals topic. Uh, this uh, Next week we'll talk about succeeding in the classroom. And then double indented are the homework. So here's two homework assignments. Wednesday we talk about team formation for our design project. And there's an indent, there's an assignment there. And then Excel, you will see that there's a video Excel, which is the uh, lecture for it. There's a little bit of a quiz with it, a practice uh, example, and then editing. We'll go through each of those sections also. So you see how that is all set up, and it's set up every week that way. Uh, some days there'll be things like this where there's no assignment for that week for Excel, uh, but you may use that time to work on the rest of your uh, homework and everything. Uh, you should be into the uh, course uh, introduction and syllabus, so after this one you should watch the syllabus. What I want to show you is the overview is always set up the same. I will give you what is going to be covered in the week. So in the, this week, right now, um, you'll be covering uh, Canvas and the syllabus, uh, and there is some assignments with this. Um, then you will, on Wednesday, uh, learn the design process, uh, and there'll be an assignment with that. And Friday, it's just some work time for you to work on your design process. I then will give you the assignments that uh, will be due for the week. This is the only week I actually show the due dates for them. The due dates are typically uh, the Monday before the next, or the, the Sunday before the next week. Uh, so. Uh, is when most of the homework is due unless it's specifically stated like this particular one is due on February 17th which is a different date. Uh, if you go home you can look at where the due dates are. They come up here on the side. 
You can also view the course calendar. The course calendar will show you, uh, here's overview for week one. Um, excuse me, and then we have week two. Here are the two assignments that are due that for uh, Sunday for the 29th. Here is video one. I want you to do that on that day. It's the only real assignment uh, lecture kind of thing that I actually put in ahead. I want to make sure you're doing it before the work is done, before the homework is done. So here's where the homework actually is supposed to be done. But there's a little quiz in each of these video lectures. So you see that this is how it's uh, set up throughout the semester. Uh, the exam itself will also be on Canvas. Uh, you'll have to uh, do the exam on Canvas, but you'll have to set up a time to meet me with it. All right, let's kind of look real quickly at what this Excel looks like. Again, you'll have to download uh, Excel for the course. Uh, here's the uh, video uh, lecture. Uh, it will tell you that you need to that this video is approximately 28 minutes long. Uh, you must complete it within uh, an hour. Uh, so if you like get up and leave for a little bit and come back, make sure it's in less than an hour. Uh, because if you don't, it will lock out on you and you won't get the grade after you've completed it. Uh, if that does occur, please let me know. I still can make sure things are okay for you. But I wanted to kind of let you know, please plan and saying, okay, it's 28 minutes long. I'm going to make sure I've got the time and just do it all at once. And the quiz questions in there are short, multiple choice, uh, true, false kind of questions. Uh, after you watch the video, there is always a uh, practice exercise that you can work on. It's not something you have to hand in. And I give you the solution. So it gives you kind of a practice session. And then you will have at the end uh, the homework itself. So you can print it. Uh, oh, and then you'll have to submit your homework here. Okay. So here's where you'll start the assignment, and then you can submit it from this location. Okay. All right. Let's go home. Oops, let me leave that. Um, anything else on here? Okay, let's look at the sidebar real quickly. Uh, announcements. So here where all the announcements will be. Uh, here's just a quick welcome one that I put in there. Uh, assignments. Assignments are all listed here. They're shown by date. You can change how they are shown. Uh, uh, shown by type. Here's by date. Uh, the other one was by type. Um, there are uh, the discussion sections. These are uh, open for everybody to see. So if you have a question on something and you want to ask the whole class, you can post those there. Here's your grades. Your grades are posted in this section. You can play around with this also and, and change, you know, put a test score in to see what you need to get for each one. You'll see the weighting by category here. Um, so the engineering fundamentals uh, assignments are 20%. Excel homework is 20 the quizzes are five. These are the lecture quizzes. The design project one is 15. The second one is 20. And the each exam is only 10%. There's a list of all the people that are in uh, the class are here. You will also see groups uh, when you are put into a group for your project. You can get access to your Google Drive here. And the last part is the Cisco WebEx I wanted to show you. Um, I need to leave this for the moment so you can actually see it. Um, so here's what you will see, something like this. There's this general space here. And if you text message something in this location, it will go out to everybody. If you want to message someone specific, uh, I'm just going to pick one. Um, I am the test message person, I guess, so I'll pick someone else. Um, you can actually message that person by typing something down here. You can make an attachment by selecting something and adding it to it. Um, and then you just uh, will hit enter and it will send it. So all the content will be here. You will see that it's only between the two of us. So these are private messages. 
I have it set up where it will go to my phone so I will know that you text messaged me and I can get back to you really quickly. I highly recommend using this. You can also um, video chat with me or also it can be done. Okay, so those are the basics of um, the Canvas course. Again, if you have any questions about it or you see something missing or something looks wrong, do not hesitate in contacting me. It's very important that you get a hold of me. The next video, please take time watching that. That will be on the syllabus.